Hey everyone, my name's Amber. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another reaction video. Today we're doing The Warning to Hell You Call a Dream. Yep, and this was a highly requested one, so that's why we're getting back to The Warning so soon. Yep. Let's see. We listen to people's requests. <laughs> yep, and then they want the live version of this, so. Yep, so this is live at Pepsi Center, CDMX, so. Let's get into this and find out how this goes. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, this is a nice and heavy one. Um, yeah, Danny was really holding that note before we paused. Mm -hmm. I think this is the biggest venue we've ever seen them at, honestly. I mean, definitely one of the biggest. Because I, I don't um, think most of our live videos that I can recall are like um, the small venue. Uh, what was it called? Like earlier, I can't remember the big famous one. I'm drawing a blank. I know what you talk about, but that was a smaller. Venue, that was a I way remember. smaller. That was <laughs> this one. Um. This our title show. I don't. Think well, then they're was. like um. I think it was called like the Whiskey Go Go or some Whiskey like Go Go. Yeah, I think that was. So, this is like a big, full-on, like, arena. Um, I don't know. Let's see. If it's the one in uh, Denver, it looks like the type of venue where we saw a uh, ghost. Oh, yeah, that was a big arena. Yeah, actually, this might even be bigger than that, honestly. Uh, Wasn't that like the Gas South Arena or yeah. something? Uh, let's see. 21,000 capacity, but, you know, concerts, they don't do that much because you got the stage. Um, yeah, yeah. That's the Ball Arena. I guess it changed names. When I looked up which Pepsi are, Center. Which are, are you talking about the one that they're currently at the Pepsi Center? Yeah, the one they're currently Center. at. 21,000 uh, South Arena capacity. 13,000. So yeah, this one's much bigger. So it's a decent amount bigger. So this is a big arena. 
that they're playing at. This is no. a big show for them. I'm sure this yeah, is like I mean, the first they... time, but <laughs> I should say first, like biggest one that we've seen, because then we also saw them when they were playing at their school. Mm-hmm. Those but... older, the older ones. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's probably more on their uh, size of like whiskey go go. <laughs> Yeah, I was just saying, those are the lives that we have done. So, this is nice to see them, you know, on a big stage. See how they act with the bigger crowd in front of them. Yeah, I mean, they're just, you know, at this point, though, they're in their career. They're pretty, they're, I would say, you know, mostly pretty comfortable with performing now. So, I mean, of course, everybody still gets nervous and things, but you kind of, you know, I'll just say not as nervous once you've been doing it for a while. Mm-hmm. I'd be curious, like, at what point this was and like how many times they've done a big arena like this and also like how many people are at this show just to, to have an idea like how the where they are in their career like they're big but they're still not like mainstream big yeah i don't think no that's, that's true i don't think they are but they are really they are getting bigger and bigger they oh, have yeah. more fans every time like every time we do that it's like yep Every time we do them, we're also getting more subscribers from them, so. I mean, we appreciate all the subs. Yep. Um, we really enjoy the warning. Um, yeah, so let's continue this. Yep. I did like uh, how prominent bass was for a little bit in there. Always kind of mention that. Oh, yeah. Always nice for us to have some prominent bass in there. Let's finish it off. Yep. Let's see that. And that's how you call a dream. Colliding every time That chaos drives me wild Like an animal Just wanna breathe Maybe I wanna be so what I see How you call a dream Colliding every time Yeah, this was really good. I will say, like, Danny was adding a lot of grit in this song. Yeah, this is, like, back to where I really enjoy of The Warning, because the past couple songs we've been doing from them are a little, like, softer and, like, have other influences, like pop or whatever. So they weren't my favorites, but this is back to more, like, what I enjoy. It's heavier. <laughs> Yeah, um, I like all the different styles they do, but um, because they're just a they're just a talented band. But I know you're more into the heavy stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but this <laughs> but this was really good. Yeah, they were all the all three of them were really getting into it when they when they got a little bit of each got to see the camera went to each of them. They were like really like getting into the song, head banging and everything. Yeah, Danny and Paul seemed to really like take it to the stage, like. A fish to water. Um, Allie still seems a little reserved. Maybe she's just in her groove. But I think someone did say that she's still a little nervous on stage, but she makes it look yeah. like she's just in her groove. Yeah, I will say though, like every time we see her do live, she is looking more and more comfortable. Like this one, she seemed. Like, she was, you know, moving around some. Yeah, she was still, you know, not quite as, you know, active as the others, but she was still getting into the music and everything. And from what I could tell, she just was really into it. And yeah, and sometimes with musicians, they're just so into, like, playing the song or whatever. They're not necessarily looking what their face looks like. And yeah, things like she wasn't that. looking at the crowd very much either. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, I would probably be doing the same thing on stage, like, not looking at the crowd very much because that's a lot of people. And also, she's probably just trying to get the, you know, I mean, working on getting the song good, you know, like, wanting to sound great, you know, and they sound amazing. They just always sound great, though. Yep. So, the warning is great. The song is great. Oh, what are you going to give it? Yeah, this was really good. And, you know, Danny was really expressive. Like, even her eyes, she was, like, really expressive in this one. I was like, awesome. She's 
very comfortable on stage. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna give this an eight point seven five. Nice and heavy. Love the grit Danny gives. Love you know all three of them are just so talented. Just love them all. Yeah, I will agree. Eight point seven five. This is just really good. Uh, Danny's like an amazing like front woman for the band. Like, cause she's just got that. Seems like she's got that personality that really feeds into playing with the crowd and everything like you need. So. Well, you know, it's a little have to, a little harder for her to be as expressive, like attract the crowd behind the drums. <laughs> yeah, she she looks very happy and very like enjoying herself. So, yeah, I mean that's the main thing. As long as you, they all looked like they were at least enjoying themselves, and that's important, you know. <laughs> yep, that's like half the like enjoyment from the crowd. Like, yeah, the music has to be good too, but like if the band doesn't look like they're having fun, the crowd's not gonna have fun. So, yeah, and the and you know the band feeds off the crowd's energy. Yep, and then the uh, crowd feeds off the band's energy, and it's a, just a cycle that makes it amazing. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, please check out links in the description yep. for the YouTube video and all of our social media. And we just want to let you know that both our Patreon and PayPal are now open. So, links will be down in the description. Until next time, bye. Bye.